Hi gang, Scott here. Well, on One released an update to Photo Raw 2022.1 is here, and this is more than just bug fixes. There are a bunch of new features in it. I have five that are my favorite. I'm going to give you the rundown of those in this video. I have some other videos that go deeper into some of these features. And if you're thinking about adding On One to your toolkit, Photo Raw, or any of the On One plugins, check the show notes. I have an offer code that will save you 20%. Won't cost anything extra. Saves you money and gives me a little support so I can do videos like this. So let me give you my top five features in 2022.1. Number one is advanced search. The searching capabilities in 2022.1 have gotten a lot better. You can find photos in a whole variety of ways, save the searches, and do this not only to find images that you're looking for, a particular project you might be working on, but also you can ask questions about your photography. You know, what type of lens are you shooting with? What are your focal lengths that you're shooting with? And get information back. And that can help you either find a place to explore with your photography or help you with a gear choice. A lot of different options there. And like a little bonus feature, I'd say, is because it's come back. Smart albums, those are back with Photo Raw 2022.1. And you can use the advanced search to create smart albums. I've got a separate video that goes into much more detail about advanced search, but that's my number one feature in 2022.1. Second feature is visualize dust. This one's been a long time coming. Removing dust spots in Photo Raw has been easy for a long time. Seeing the dust has not been. We've had to play some gains and some tricks and you know doing crazy things with curves and pushing contrast all over the place. Well, now there's a visualized dust button in the retouch tools. You turn it on, you can see the dust, you get rid of it, and then you move on with your editing. So that's the second feature that is worthwhile in 2022.1. The third feature is snapshots. Snapshots let you take a point in time and save it during your editing. So if you want to try something a little different, you know, run an experiment, so to speak, with your edits, you can create a snapshot, go off and do things. And if you don't like where you were going, you can just return to the snapshot as opposed to trying to do a lot of undo things um, or you know the problems we've had with image history you know, the history goes away once you finish your editing well snapshots hang around and so you can create that snapshot keep it for a while and you can also create versions from those snapshots so snapshots and versions work together i've got a different video that shows you more about snapshots i'll put that in the show notes so you can check it out and that's the third feature that is very cool in 2022.1 fourth feature is the liquify tool this is a new tool in 2022.1 you'll see it over on the left hand side in the toolbar and this lets you nudge pixels around. So you can use it on portraits to slim a person, or you can use it in landscapes to accentuate a certain element, or you know, push an S-curve a little harder, a little softer, things like that. You know, it's to uh, just kind of smoothly move pixels around in the scene. Uh, this is a tool I'm still exploring with my photography as a landscape photographer. I uh, have less of a use for Liquify, or at least I think I do. I'm still exploring it, and I'm happy to have the tool and play around with it in 2022.1. And the fifth feature is custom crop sizes. This is a small one, but it's a nice add. If you have a certain need for a particular crop size or a particular ratio for whatever project you're working on, you know, it was a little annoying to have to go and either copy and paste that crop or make sure you're keying in the exact ratio in your uh, in your you know toolbar there. Well, now you can manage and save custom crop sizes and just pick them right out of the custom uh, menu area in the crop tool. So you get the same crop across the board every single time. So those are the five: advanced search, visualize dust, snapshots, liquify, and custom crop sizes. 2022.1's got a bunch of good stuff in it. And so if you're a Photo Raw user already, just look for those updates. They should be coming into your application very soon, if not already. Got other questions or other things that you're finding are very cool about 2022.1? Share them in the show notes so they can all learn together from uh, from this. And check out the other videos I have that'll go deeper into some of these features. I put all those links in the show notes. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.